This is a process for house renovations. It's for anybody renovating a home. Construction companies, house flippers, homeowners, and anybody who's in the industry of renovation. Today, I'll be going over three fundamental parts of this process. Design, budget, and scope. Anytime that you're starting a project and it starts going out of whack, not the way you want is because one of these three got mixed. And some of the clients that I consult will have a problem with one of these three, either not understanding it or not knowing how to perform it. I will start first with design. This is the hardest part for me because most of the time, a lot of people start bringing their wife, their girlfriend, and you know, the neighbor and their moms and all of that to help with the design. You need to understand what is it that you want to start coming up with a design. This design gives you the idea of how your product is going to look or your property is going to look after you complete it. It's very easy to say what you want, but then now we're going to the next step. What is the budget that you have to see if you can match that design? I will give you an example. One of my clients was renovating a bathroom and he had a $4,000 budget. He decided to start the demo himself and then bring somebody else into the picture to finish up the project. That person came in and gave him a budget of $8,000. Why? Because he wanted some specific tile behind the sink and he wanted these special toilets and he wanted towel around his tub and he wanted a special type of tub, the flooring on the thing. So his budget was not matching his design. You need to be conservative in your design because most likely it's not gonna hit your budget. Budgets are very important. You won't, only you will know what you want to spend on the project. Your budget can vary from a $500 job to a $500,000 job. That's up to you. What you put in this project and when you, when you start designing it will tell you what the budget should be. If you want the Taj Mahal, your budget better be able to keep up with the Taj Mahal. It's just the way it works. Money moves design. But then it goes a little deeper than that. How do you figure out that the design and the budget will actually work. We'll go straight into the scope. In most of the jobs that I'm involved with, the scope is the most important part of the job. That's the communication in between the person who wants something done and the guy actually doing it. I become very specific on my scope. I will separate every section of what they want me to work dissect the price of materials to the price of labor so I can give the client the proper information about the cost of their job based on their design. If their budget doesn't work, then we have to go back into the design and make the proper changes to keep the design, the budget, and the scope in line with what the customer wants. For most of my clients, this is a problem because they either don't know how to create a scope, how to work with the budget, or how to understand a design. Wherever of these three that you're having an issue will become only an issue at the middle of your project. You start saying, why am I late? Why am I spending more than I thought I was going to spend? I think my contractor's scamming me. I think they don't know what they're doing. With in fact, he's working with the limited information that you gave him. You can come to a contractor and say, my dream is to do this. You have to come with the full design and a budget that you're prepared to spend. A lot of times your contractor is the one who will make the scope based on what you tell them. But if you already had a scope of everything you're going to do becomes pricing it a lot easier. These three things have to be in line at all times. Otherwise you start having time problems, you will start having money problems, and then that's when it becomes really stressful. You look at your project or your home if you're a homeowner and you said, only moly, they destroyed the whole kitchen. Everything is got it. It looks dirty, it looks messy. How the hell are they going to convert this into what I want? If you have the right design in line with the right budget and describe it on the scope, you will get what you want. But if one of those three is out of line, you only get what they can give you. Leave a comment if you have any more questions. Subscribe. I will be giving a lot more info in the construction world and I hope to see you guys out on the field.